Hello! This tutorial looks at how you can use the information in the catalog to evaluate your search results before you go get the materials off the shelf or order them from another library. I'm starting with a search on the Grateful Dead. By entering Grateful Dead as a keyword relevant search, I have retrieved a list of over 2,000 results. Not all of these results will be good. The system tries to put the results it thinks are best at the top of the list, and as you go down the list, they are less and less relevant. Each one of these results corresponds to a book, or a CD, or DVD, or internet website. We call these results records, as in computer records. Let's look at some of the records more closely. For each item, the catalog shows you relevancy information, the title of the book, the author, the year the book was published, and some information about the book's location, including its call number. And of course, in this case, it's not a book, it's a sound recording, but all of that is still the same. You will need the call number to find the item on the shelf. That's how our, our books and CDs are organized. Once you've found a call number, the library staff can explain how to use the call number to find the material in the library or how to get it from another library, in this case, North Idaho College. Before you decide whether the book is right for you, you should perform a quick evaluation. Besides the title, other information to use in evaluating results are the number of relevancy bars, the date published, and the location. For relevancy bars, the items that the software thinks are most relevant to your search should appear at the top of the list. In the second column, you will see a number of bars. Items with five relevancy bars are the closest fit to your search terms. As you go down the list, you will see items with fewer relevancy bars. These fit your search statement less well. Date published. Some subjects require current information, and for those recently published items are best. In this case, it looks like this music was originally released in 1972 and then re-released in 1989. Location. We have materials in the catalog from North Idaho College, University of Idaho, and of course, LCSC. Some books found in the University of Idaho libraries were purchased for use by graduate students and faculty. They can be hard for undergraduates and the general public to read because they use vocabulary and concepts that are directed at experts in the field. If the book is at the University of Idaho and the title uses words you don't understand, that book may not be very appropriate to use in undergraduate research. On the other hand, North Idaho College is a two-year college. Their library purchases materials that they feel are most appropriate for freshmen and sophomores. Their books may not be very appropriate for senior research at LCSC. Just something to keep in mind when you are selecting books from the catalog. In this case, number five, we cannot see which library owns this book. So click on the title of the book to get more information. The first section shows you general information about the item. Below that, you can see that two libraries own this book, NIC and University of Idaho. Each library has a separate call number for the book. Now back to our results. When you see that a book is an electronic resource, you may not be able to access it. If it is an LCSC library book, LCSC students and faculty should be able to get into the ebook with a login and password. Call the librarians at the information desk if you need help with your login and password. Every college restricts access to library ebooks to their own students and faculty, so they will not be able to get into ours, and we will not be able to get into theirs. In this case, this is from North Idaho College. When I click here to access the resource, it's asking for a North Idaho College login and password, so I cannot get into that one. If you see a book that is an electronic resource that you cannot access, you can request the LCSC library to get a copy for you. 
If we can find a copy in print at another library, we will ask them to send it for you to borrow. You can find out more information about borrowing from other libraries at the Library Information Desk. Now back to results, let's look at another one. You will be able to get access to some electronic resources from the University of Idaho and North Idaho College, so it's worth it to give it a try and see. The government publishes many of its materials on the Internet, so the catalog record will lead you to a link to the full text of the document. In this case, here's an FBI file on the Grateful Dead. So we click on that, and down here at the bottom there's the the link to clicking to access the resource and because it's a government document it's available to everyone not to just University of Idaho students so when you click on it you get the actual document that's been made available to the public obviously a lot of it blacked out okay and we will go back to our results and let's look at another one libraries also often link to good websites in the catalog in this case, we have a website from the University of California at Santa Cruz. Within the catalog record, there's a link to the site, and there is the website. You can't tell from the list of search results which electronic resources will be available to you and which will not, so you may as well give them a try and see if you can get in. Now let's look at another one. Here is a record for a DVD called Festival Express. You can see the relevancy bars, the title, the date, but it's not immediately clear why this one showed up in a search about the Grateful Dead. To get more information about this DVD, click on the number in the first column or on the title. For DVDs, it helps to go to the detailed record, and here in the notes field, you can see a little bit of what the DVD is about. And that is typical for DVDs in the catalog. So if you want to find out what the DVD is about, go to the Detailed Record. Number 23. This is a catalog entry for a book. It doesn't mention The Grateful Dead in the title. We'll click on it to get more information. So we're looking at the brief record. We still don't see anything about The Grateful Dead. So we'll go to the detailed record. Still no mention of the Grateful Dead. So let's look at the table of contents. And from here, we can see that there's a chapter on the Grateful Dead by Park Pewterbau. It can be really helpful to look at the table of contents for books that are not immediately obvious why they showed up on the list. If you can find one chapter on your topic, that's often even better than finding a whole book. Condensing the information from a whole book into a five-page paper can be a challenge. Sometimes one chapter gives you just the amount of information you can easily use. Not all of the records in the catalog provide the table of contents, but when you can find it, it can be really helpful. So there's some information about finding out what the search results in the catalog are telling you and how to use that information to select the right materials for you. If you need more help, the librarians at the Information Desk are eager to help. From the library's webpage, click on Ask a Librarian to get their contact information.